I work with a lot of women who are pretty shocked by how heavy and painful their periods are after having a baby. Not all women experience this, but I've talked to a lot of women that have. And it is kind of shit that <laughs> women have to deal with that. Because when you think about it, okay, you've already had periods for probably many, many, many years. Then you're pregnant for nine months. Then you birth the baby either through your vagina or through a really intense abdominal surgery. Then you go through what might be pretty uncomfortable, a pretty uncomfortable healing process. And then bam, you have this super heavy, painful period. And all men have to deal with is like a slight drop in testosterone levels. So that's frustrating. Um, but beyond that, let's look at what we can do. Let's get positive. So first and foremost, why does that happen? So for women that do experience these heavy, more painful periods, there are potentially a few different reasons, but one of the most common reasons is that the uterine cavity after having a baby is likely larger. And this means that more mucus will line the uterus um, during the month between your period. So during your cycle, more mucus will build up, which means there will be more to shed during your period, thus creating a heavier, potentially more painful period. So that's the most common reason why you have those more intense periods after having a baby. Um, with that said, we want to make sure that the heavy bleeding, the pain that you're having is not um, a sign of something else. So if you're having a lot of bleeding and a lot of discomfort in the weeks following having a baby, this could potentially be a sign of a retained placenta. And if this is the case, that's obviously not a period. Um, that means that part of your placenta did not detach from the uterine wall, meaning that there are still open blood vessels in your uterus um, that are not able to close because the uterus is not fully contracted back down to size. So if your bleeding is getting heavier and not lighter, you've had a baby in the past few weeks, let your care provider know immediately because if it's a retained placenta, they need to know. Um, so with that said, if you are not breastfeeding and you experience what feels like a period like six to eight weeks after birth, it's probably a period. Again, any earlier than that and you're having a lot of bleeding, let your care provider know. Um, but six to eight weeks, if you're not breastfeeding, that's when some women will have a period. If you're breastfeeding, you could go many, 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 many months. I think I went a year and a half before I had a period after having my son because prolactin um, can suppress ovulation. So that if you're not ovulating, that means you're not gonna have a period. So if you're breastfeeding, you might go a really long time before having a period. Um, all right, so what to do? Don't suffer in silence. There are things that can be done if you're having a super heavy, painful period. So first and foremost, go to your care provider and ask them to check your iron levels because heavy periods can screw with your iron levels and low iron levels can lead to exhaustion and other unpleasant symptoms. So have them check your iron levels to see if you're deficient. If you are, they might recommend uh, supplements, IV iron therapy, or, or diet shifts. Okay, you also want to rule out any underlying health issues. So in addition to the potential for a retained placenta, which is again something that you'll likely discover like soon after birth, um, but issues that could come up later. Um, if you have fibroids, for example, if you have endometriosis, that could cause those heavier, more painful periods. And that's something that your care provider can support you with. So again, we want to let our care provider know if we're having really uncomfortable, painful periods. They might also um, ask if you want to get on birth control because there's different types of birth control that can alleviate uncomfortable um, symptoms during a period, some that can even completely stop your period. So talk to your care provider and they can help you decide, number one, if you even want to go on birth control, and if so, what the right type for you would be.
All right, getting some exercise. Exercise is amazing at helping to regulate your hormone levels, which could potentially um, help you have a less intense period. Even just going on a 30 minute walk a couple times a day can make, can make a big difference. Um, okay, and then finally know that likely time will alleviate your uncomfortable period symptoms, especially if you did not have uncomfortable periods before having a baby. You likely just need to give your body a couple months and then hopefully those heavy periods will lessen and be less uncomfortable. But again, let your care provider know if your periods are really heavy, really painful, they're making it hard to function when you're having your period, um, because again, there are things that can be done. All right, let me know if you have questions about this or anything else in the questions below or comments below.